Dr. Murari Tapasvi is my old friend. I know him from the days when he was in NIO, National Institute of Oceanography, and I was a young young journalist. Not young anymore. <laughs> Doctor, I... tell us tell us about your repository, uh, institutional repository at the Goa University. Uh, you know, institutional Goa uh, you know, repository at the Goa University uh, is um, one place where uh, anyone will find what kind of research has been carried out by the faculty members of the Goa University, the students' thesis, and all that information. And this is something that the, the whole document, the complete document is open to anyone. It's your baby and uh, you set it up basically in the year around? We set it up in 2015. And I don't say that it's my baby because uh, I'm lot much of work yeah. has been done Boys. in the university before this. Boys. But then yes, I... You I, brought it all together? Yes, I was uh, instrumental in bringing all those documents together. It's so useful, doctor, because uh, see, a university like this also has to play a role in, in the wider society life. Yes. And very often uh, the work done by a university is invisible. The very purpose of repositories is open access. Yeah. And then anyone. We'll come yeah. to that later. Yeah. That's a chapter in itself, open access. Yeah. But 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 you would agree that uh, we need to make the work visible in some way. Yes, this is extremely essential because it's a taxpayer's money that's used for this particular research purpose. And a lot of and it is is Goa related also, especially in the humanities. Yes, yes. There are several hundred articles on Goa culture, Goa geography uh, and around. So that's definitely uh, very much... History, uh, plant life, everything. Yes. Literature. Yes, yes, yes. So that's that's something uh, very essential even for the, uh, the go on uh, life as such. PhDs, doctor, it used to be one said, even, even my guy told me, don't worry, three people will read your PhD. So I, I, I told him that not at this point because today it's online. Are all the PhDs in your repository also? There are, there are over thousand PhD thesis. All, all they are there right from, from, from day one. From day one, from day one, all the thesis have gone in. Today we collect the soft copies from the students, but yeah. uh, yesterday's uh, PhD thesis have been scanned uh, by the librarian. Very fast. And yes, and they are uh, uploaded over there. So every thesis is in a matter of days, if not weeks. Uh, it took some time. It very some, quite fast. Yeah, no, no, but now I'm saying the new thesis are coming out. New fast. thesis movement. Yeah. It's just the, the atom arrives and then it is uploaded. See, so. before your post-retirement tenure at Goa University, you were at NIO for a long time. That's where we first met. Yes. And yeah. although we have no connection by way of fields, by way of this, I think the free software, open source, open access, all yes. these ideas brought us together. Yes. Tell us your, your idea of open access and the role it should play in a library. Uh, see, the, 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 the purpose of open access is two way, I can say. One is this, that the open access to the literature... My son, new eyes, huh? sorry, uh, sorry I, about that. We, we change the place? Yeah, 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 come. We could, we could just move over the side. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you... Uh, yeah, 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 sit, 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 sit. No problem, no problem, sit, sit. This will be again the same kind of situation. Or maybe right? we'll just... I'll stand, I'll stand, yeah. no problem. Yeah. Sorry for the interruption. No problem. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, perfect, perfect, huh? perfect. Carry on. So open access. Huh. So the, I was saying the, it, it has two advantages. The, the, rather, rather the open access movement in the uh, information scenario, the research information scenario started because the 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 uh, journals in which the literature was published earlier were behind paywalls. So even the other researchers were not able to afford to the pay the cost to the private publisher to get an access to that particular research. So the open access paved way that anyone can have an access to it. That's one aspect of it. The second aspect is this, that once the items are in open access, it reaches to all those stakeholders. Say for example, if uh, a, a, a research work is done in the science and industry is in search of new things, they, they want something new that is in their area of work 
and they to they, so that they can plug in so they are looking for that kind of thing and then this open access movement really has helped them in getting finding what's new quickly okay that's one thing the third thing that comes is is a general wider community the, 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 the taxpayers uh, I remember uh, one day we one time we surveyed uh, informally uh, in Goa that uh, whether people of Goa know what is and are doing National Institute of Oceanography doing, and then the reactions were such uh, oh, that some government office <laughs> they were not knowing what wonderful work it's one of the best laboratories in India that's one and it was the only laboratory in the South Asia on the oceanographic literature uh, uh, research so I mean uh, th that is how uh, so you push very strongly for for open accessing open access movement in, in NIO in NIO so today if, if, if I search for anything on oceanography and Goa there is a great chance that it would be from NIO oceanography and in India also they would uh, all of it would be easily findable I uh, well in the oceanography uh, studies that are carried out in NIO are 100% available on the repository of the NIO. So you played a role in pushing for this? Yes, yes, that is... Uh, Did you face any challenges, difficulties or were the uh, scientists very open to it? Well, my colleagues were very cooperative and uh, of course uh, the administration, the university manager, I mean the, the institute management was also uh, very strong uh, on my side I would say and there was absolutely no what we did is if you are in academia it's an argument easy to understand that uh, information produced at the public good should be available to the public to the public yes it should be it should be for the sake of the public for the sake of the institution and for the sake of the scientist or researcher himself the, the, the general public gets to know what wonderful work is being done the second thing is this that yes there are they, they, it generates an interest among the general public Hmm. that yes something of this kind is being done and they get attracted to that particular kind of studies there are people who would accidentally reach there and they would say they will realize array this is a great source of information so all that is possible uh, with this kind of uh, repositories and that kind of movement as such doctor i've been badgering you for an interview for a long time and you kept saying no though i kept assuring you it's a painless process now that i've got you let me ask you one thing how have you seen the library field change over your decades from the 80s or late 70s since when did you start and how has it changed the libraries since when i i uh, came into this profession in 1973 wow Yes, 73 I was a college librarian uh, and then 77 I went for an, uh, higher studies uh, in Bangalore uh, and then uh, uh, and that really gave me a, Bangalore, eh? uh, at the, uh, it's a documentation research and training center, it's a DRTC, a, a DRTC. it's a branch of Indian Statistical Institute uh, in Kolkata, that's the headquarters. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, that's the only place where the higher uh, studies uh, in information science are done. And there, uh, my teachers opened my eyes that the libraries are not supposed to only serve the information to the research or the users of the library, what is gets generated, but you have to also generate information from your organization, from your place of work that you work. And that's where you should put it up. And they, 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 by saying that, those days there was no computerization or there were only mainframe computers uh, as such uh, available. The libraries had not much been computerized. Uh, but then after the 80s, probably yes, libraries also got computerized. They, now today, online uh, information is available. So hardly physically people are turning to the physical libraries as such. That gives an opportunity to the librarians and the information professionals to get themselves organized with the internal information, with the information that their organizations generate. It's it's very rich source of information, and no one. We unfortunately in India, it has not been managed as well as. Uh, so you are saying it's not a death of libraries, but it's a changing structure. The role will they change a little bit. The, uh, the kind of information that the, we would handle it will be a, a different information. Uh, the, the kind of people that we would face, the users, 
they are different so that that would uh, make you, a difference you were mentioning india i don't want to sound colonial but would it be correct to say that uh, we in india are more in the world of the spoken word you know oral communication not so much written we don't understand the power of documenting written knowledge would that be correct or is it a generalization we, that's most unfortunate that's most unfortunate on if you go to the internet on the internet you will find lot of information that exists world over but then if you want to know what exists for india or what exists for goa i yeah. there you, is a shortage you would find very difficult to get uh, such kind of information as such authentically of except, course except except a few indians who go overseas and do well for themselves like this doctor i forget his name who did the million book projects no project now in uh, in kanagi uh, melon uh, yeah, 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 rao uh, professor rao yeah i see in bangalore I see. And, and the books actually are so relevant. You even find Goa books from from libraries all over IITs in India, yes, and yes. so he has got these scanned, yes, and he has yes. got them shared. Yes, yes. Well, I'm also forgetting his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Rao from or? IIC Bangalore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But of course, he was not a library professional. Yeah. He was a professor. Talking about librarians, do you feel that we in Goa, we in India, undervalue librarians? Think of them as. people who just talk books in shelves dust the books and all that and and the librarians have internalized those roles they don't see themselves as information or knowledge workers um they can for, do much more for, they have a capacity to do much more uh, but there is always a match there is always a match that the administration should believe the the management where they work they should task those uh, people that you should also take care of this part because they at times the management doesn't believe that uh, the They're capacity uh, that the these professionals have and make best use of that capacity that's one aspect of it the another aspect that i notice is this that uh, our library science schools have not changed they have traditionally been teaching the same thing again and again what exists in the library but they, this new areas of information explosion like uh, they, working for the industrial information working for the societal information no one no one this nowhere in the library science schools this has been taught and i think if if the new generation has been ex- is exposed to that kind of areas probably there are bright futures for those people as well the the people the, who are going to graduate from library science schools they should not confine they should not put blinkers on their eyes that they are to work only in the libraries no information is for everywhere everywhere you so get. important getting all more important yes content. so it is the job the librarian what is strength of the librarian the acquisition organization and dissemination of information and in all these three aspects they are they have a strong hold and then if they get an opportunity to deal with non book content or non print content then that would certainly help society that will certainly uplift the profession of the librarian as well one last question yes, what sir. is the role of what do you suggest should be the role of a young librarian in the 21st century expose yourself to the new world understand this realize this that your users are not going to turn to the physical library because there is lot of information that's available today on internet that user normally requires and therefore it is your responsibility to reach out to the users not physically again electronically that's that's one and the most most important aspect is the be content developer rather than content uh, acquis- acquirer <laughs> that's what i felt thank you thank you so much dr thank tapasvi i am so grateful for the time you spent because i love books so much i don't know why and uh, i feel i always missed the career of being a jan- of being a librarian thank you thank you <laughs> you are more than the librarian <laughs> <laughs> if only this camera would